Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2015 in Frankfurt, Germany at the Intel booth. And we're here at the Cosmos demo. Now, I'm here with Johan. He's going to show us what is the Cosmos demo? What is it all about? Okay, so you are looking at the cosmic microwave background, which is an echo of what the universe looked like about 300,000 years before, after it was born, after the Big Bang. Most of the information we know about this early stage of the universe comes from the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is kind of left over from the very hot soup of particles which existed back in those days. And after it cooled down so that light could travel through the universe, the, what the universe looked like was imprinted into the background radiation back then. And almost everything we know about the age of the universe or the mati matter, dark matter, dark energy composition of the universe comes from the microwave background radiation. And almost all the information we have from it comes from something called the power spectrum or two-point correlator function of, of the universe, of the uh, temperature of the, of the radiation. And that re calculating all those properties has, has taken up millions and millions of CPU hours and the Cosmos supercomputer has played a major role in that. At the Stephen Hawking Center for Theoretical Cosmology, we wanted to go further than that. We wanted to open new windows to the universe. And one of the things we can do is instead of looking at two points in the sky and finding the correlation between those, is to look at three points in the sky, so triangles. And what we get is a three-point correlator that is also called the bispectrum. Naively, that's a problem of, of the order of 10 to 21 triangles and there's a calculation to go with each one of those triangles giving quite a large number of uh, computation to be done so we would need probably the largest supercomputer in the world for quite a while to calculate it just once and we needed to calculate it all over and over and over and over again it had to be had to be invented and what what has been done here is is we have decomposed the signal into the physical modes that we need to study and then ported and optimized that code for the Xeon 5. Now, what you see here is, is the visual representation of, of the bispectrum in public for the first time and it's actually interactively manipulated as we can see using the Intel Osprey uh, visualization program. The signal that you see Blue means there's a strong correlation, red means there's strong anti-correlation, and then the colors slide in between. And the new things here, so the new thing in, in just coming in this year is that we have just not, not just the temperature data, but we also have the polarization data now. Now, about 50 gigabytes in size and it's running on three pre-production Intel Knight's Landing CPUs connected by the Omnipath pre-production hardware. The enlightenment about observing the blank data with this tool is that we can see the correlations predicted by the theory. For example, down at the edge here you can, you can see the gravitational lensing signal. That's something predicted by Einstein's relative, uh, theory of general relativity. And no matter what method is used to analyze the data and, and, and look at it, it needs to reproduce that gravitational lensing signal. So for us, that was an important validation of what's, what we are doing. 